A powerful telescope has captured unprecedented and really beautiful images of the sun's surface, revealing sunspots and other features in new detail. Also, Saturn's iconic rings may not be visible from Earth in the future. Data analysis of NASA's 13-year Cassini mission is unveiling new insight into how long those rings have been around and when potentially They'll vanish from sight. Let's bring in now president of Explore Mars Incorporated, Janet Ivey, to discuss uh, that and more. Let's talk first, good morning, about the sun and these good amazing morning. images. We're seeing some okay. dark spots here. We're seeing what I'm learning are some bridges. What do we see? <laughs> Looks like pasta. <laughs> no, it's amazing because what the NUA telescope has captured are these beautiful dark sunspots. And we are in a time of solar maximum. The sun goes through uh, an 11 year solar cycle. So solar minimum to solar maximum. We're in solar maximum. And what these sunspots are revealing, they're seeing this. It, it's weird because it's like plasma pushing upwards and then cooler uh, plasma pushing downwards. It's just beautiful. They kind of look like a honeycomb or flames coming out. These are regions that are huge magnetic regions that solar flares can occur, and then that can cause a lot of problems here on Earth when they happen. But as just an image and beauty, it's beautiful. And what's really weird is that, Victor, some of those sunspots are three city blocks long, and then the one really big one you might be looking at is at least as big as the entire planet of Earth. Because here's a little sun fact everybody needs to know. Over one million suns could fit, I mean, one million Earths could fit inside the sun. Amazing. I can't even wow. fathom. These images are really beautiful, and we're, we're both lovers of art, <laughs> and I love the color yellow or chartreuse. I have it in my living room. I would love to just blow that up and just, because it looks like acrylic art or, or you know, pasta as, as uh, oh, like noodles, right? We're back on the pasta. <laughs> pasta. Uh, okay, so let's get to Saturn's it does, rings. It's beautiful. Go ahead. Oh, Saturn's rings are amazing. And this is new information. Remember, Cassini crash dived at the end of its mission. And what it was doing, it would sort of dive in between those rings. And scientists noticed this interesting phenomena called ring rain. And so they're for a long time, we thought maybe something crashed into Saturn, that material dispersed, and then, you know, the gravitational pull of Saturn pulled those rings and they began to spin around it. Now there may be some other evidence that maybe there was once a moon and maybe the gravitational instability call, uh, caused that kind of debris field. But remember, a lot of Saturn's, what's in Saturn's rings are things made of comets, asteroids, ice, rock, and dust. But what they're seeing is every time those rings that never stop spinning get hit with something out there in our solar system, it's sort of shearing off uh, some of that, some of that ice, rock, and debris in there. So scientists oh. theorize that billions of years from now that they may disappear. So I hope they stick around for a long, long time. Well, so we have a little time. Billions of years from now, they, they won't disappear on Monday. We've got, we, we can enjoy <laughs> we it for a little time. while longer. Okay. So let's turn now to uh, NASA's Mars <laughs> rover Perseverance. Friends call him Percy. Um, we're getting some <laughs> new video um, looking inside the Belva crater. Um, what are we seeing? So Belva Crater is kind of like a crater in a crater. Remember, Perseverance landed in a place called Jezero Crater, and its main mission is looking for life. But this vista really kind of has some scientists puzzling, like, the way that the rock is sort of scattered and some of the mosaic and the way the sand structures are really suggests that there was faster flowing water through this region. And as uh, Danny Roja and Ted Lasso says, football is life. Well, water <laughs> means life. So that is the quest of <laughs> perseverance is that we're looking for those bio, uh, you know, biosignatures, we're looking for fossilized life, microbial life. But what you're seeing is just really this amazing crater within a crater that we know that flowing water existed at one point in history. More to come, I'm sure, as scientists keep reviewing that. All right, Janet Ivey, always good to have you on a Sunday morning. Thank you so much. Always learn something new. I didn't know Saturn, the rings are made up of asteroids and debris and stuff. Yeah, it's and new for cool. me is a million Earths into the sun. Yeah. Had no idea. Yeah. All right, thank you, Janet.